guys and welcome to a another video today i wanted to chat with you all on five tips i have for self-care and kind of cultivating more of that self-love within all of us i struggle with doing self-care a lot i was in a self-care-ish routine upon school starting but you know like <laughs> school work and <laughs> tests and all that kind of stuff kind of pushed it away and i've distanced myself a lot from doing self-care so of course it's made it so much easier for all the negative thoughts and pressures to come in and more than just dwelling in them i thought i would share with you guys some of the things i've been doing recently that have really helped me emotionally and physically and help me feel a lot better when it comes to dealing with the negative emotions and thoughts and all that kinds of stuff. My first tip, my first tip would be journaling. Journaling has helped me immensely in recording my thoughts and helping me keep a clear mind. A lot of the time I find that there's a lot of things I want to say and I don't always have a person to say it to in the moment and journaling has really helped me get that out. Of course there's things that I write that I'm not always comfortable sharing with people and still being able to get it out through journaling has really helped me and even when dealing with those negative thoughts, writing positive affirmations down and repeating them to yourself, that can help immensely in improving your self-esteem and self-confidence and generating a better self-emulating love bubble. Tip number two would be yoga. Now, yoga has its... I don't really think there's cons to yoga, but I know it has helped me a lot. I might make a video on this some other time, but yoga has not related to self-care, but kinda has really helped with my digestion. My digestion. Even a little bit. Um, it's still kind of bad. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Let's just give it some credit there. Also, yoga has really helped me be more in tune with my body and kind of just when I do yoga, I'm more focused on the movement of my body and appreciating what I can and can't do. And it also helps with kind of being more self accepting of yourself and acknowledging that there are going to be some poses that you can't do and there are going to be some poses that you can easily do. And just acknowledging that and in that moment when you're doing the pose, like being accepting of that can really help improve your own self-esteem and self-confidence and just generate more of that little self-love in your with your body also it is a very good de-stressor and it kind of helps me sometimes to forget what i'm actually stressing about which kind of helps in the moment so yeah that's what i would very much suggest tip number three would be Netflix. Watching movies and television shows is a great way to kind of de-stress and just give your body a break. Like so often I feel that we're constantly doing something that we never give ourselves a break and a great way to practice self-care. It doesn't have to be, I don't know, doing a bath bomb, doing makeup, doing something nice for yourself. But anyway, relaxing can count as self-care too. So definitely binge watching your favorite shows or binge watching movies. I am currently trying to schedule within my Thanksgiving break a Disney movie marathon as well as binge watch The 100, the television show, uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and I'm almost done with The Haunting of Hill House, which but yeah if you're into like horror and like suspense it's not too horry but it's like kind of suspense mystery haunting of hill house is for you i'm not a horror person but i like mystery and it's really good so yeah definitely watching netflix and watching tv and all that stuff can really help to de-stress your mind and practice self-care because you are deserving of relaxation 
yeah tip number four bath bombs and face masks I love doing bath bombs I actually did one last night I usually get them from lush my favorite bath bomb I don't know the name of it but it has to be it's like this little yellow one and it's got like a purple thing in it. it's like lavender it's like lemon and lavender and that kind of bundle and it smells so good and yeah it's just amazing and I love it so much even though I don't take a bath for very long I feel like you're supposed to spend like an hour or something when you're taking a bath but I don't I'm not one to really take a long time in the bath because I feel like the silence is kind of just awkward so to pass the time I also love listening to podcasts or kind of a music playlist that I can kind of just daydream to or just think about with or I like to listen to make playlists that kind of ride with my thoughts so if I'm feeling a certain way I'll play a playlist and it'll kind of like take me on a journey throughout my thoughts if that makes any sense but yeah I'll leave a link down to some of my favorite podcasts below so even if you're not taking a bath you can definitely give those a listen because they are very insightful and I really really like them also I also get most of my face masks from Lush as well and I also did one for a while until I ran out of it I need to order more but from Herbivore I will definitely leave links to those below so you guys can check them out and maybe try them out yourself my fifth self-care tip would be to nourish yourself by nourish yourself i don't mean necessarily physically although that is very important too low self-esteem sometimes can drive people especially people with past struggles with eating disorders and bad mental health and self-esteem can drive them to restrict and to feel like they're not deserving of food and a great way to combat that with self-care is to actually nourish yourself and show yourself that yes you are deserving of it and just by doing that, you are loving yourself because by nourishing your body, you're giving your body things that it needs in order to function and thrive at its optimal level. And I don't only mean that with food, but by nourishing yourself and filling any voids that you might feel inside, whether that might be doing some mindful movement, taking a walk, walking your dog, playing with your pets, just hanging out with friends and family. Nourishing yourself in that way is a great way and one of the most satisfying ways i feel like nothing can beat the ult the exchanges you have with other people in this world especially people you are close to that goes to show yourself that you are deserving of those exchanges you are deserving to hang out with people because there are people that want to be with you and by hanging out with them you're kind of showing yourself hey yeah i am deserving of that and that is a great form of self-love when you look at it and to me, I feel that a lot of things we do subconsciously that are positive are a form of self-love, even though they're not labeled in a magazine as something that you have to do. Like For me, I feel that self-love lately in society has been categorized as something in regards to upholding beauty standards and showing self-love in regards to doing bath bombs and face masks and getting your nails done. Those are great forms of self-care and self-love. But sometimes the practice of self-love is so much deeper, so much more depth to the practice that it doesn't only affect the physical level, but it also envelopes in the spiritual level as well. And I think it's very important to realize that and to acknowledge that. And yeah, I hope you guys practice those a lot. Well, not a lot, I mean, as much as you can. I try to do self-care about maybe well i try to do like bath bombs and stuff once a week if i can and hair masks too help a lot i'll leave a link down below for the hair masks that i do um i was actually considering doing a hair care routine for you guys sometime soon so if you are interested in that comment down below and i will for sure do a hair care routine because i'll say for a while I've struggled with my hair and now I feel that it's finally getting back to its optimum health, if 
that makes sense. So I'd love to do a little routine, share with you guys what I usually do, and yeah, we'll wrap it up for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. It was kind of quick to film, I guess, but I really wanted to get a video up for you guys, and I'm doing a lot with my hands, so it's so weird, sorry. But I really hope you guys got something out of this video. I haven't filmed in a while, actually, and I just realized that, and I really missed it, and I'm really hoping to get back into starting it again, and also working on a couple other projects for you guys that I really hope you'll enjoy. And yeah, if you really like this video, well not really, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It's gonna be somewhere up here or down here, I don't know. And be sure to click the bell icon so you know when I upload videos next. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, you should give me a follow. Um, my username is plantbasedzoe and I post lots of recipes and kind of personal insight posts on self-love, my travels, when I do travel, um, and stuff like that. So I hope all of you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.